The Stur Valley is a beautiful rural area where much of the landscape is farmed and many local people live in small villages and market towns. For visitors, this gives endless opportunities to enjoy delicious and seasonal local produce and support the local economy at the same time. The grazing landscape of the Stur Valley has meant a number of high-class local livestock farms have been established over many years and farming in the area generates a great selection of food. Visitors can enjoy locally produced brands and organic produce, which reduces food miles and benefits the local environment, and local farm shops which help give the producers a fair price for their goods. I'm Ian from Bee House Honey, so I run around about 250 hives over 20 locations. I've got basically bees all over Suffolk, Essex borders, and then all I do is I spin the honey off, pop the honey in the jars, and it's all raw. It's very coarsely filtered. It's not heated, it's not blended. You get quite a few different types of honey, and they look completely different. And yeah, customers uh, uh, you know, always have something, a uh, different choice every time they come, really. Hi, yeah, I'm Tim Nash. My business is called the Ten Sheds Bakehouse, and as you can probably guess in that, I make bread, uh, with a focus on making sourdoughs and very traditionally made breads. As far as possible, all of, well, in fact, all of the flour that I use comes from marriages in Chelmsford and a huge amount of the flour that I get from them comes within a 30 mile radius of Chelmsford. So we try not to use any flour that's shipped in from abroad, we try to make sure all the flour is English flour. Pubs for me are just massively important, particularly for the rural communities that they serve and anything that we can do to enable them to sort of broaden that broaden the offering that they've got so more people will just think it's a natural thing to do to go to the pub, for me, is a really important thing. Especially where we are, where we live in this Store Valley area, and um, people are interested to know the providence, to know where their meat, where their veg, where their fruit comes from. And, and so we label, to say it's Suffolk, I think people are becoming more and more aware that it's either from Suffolk or whether it's from the UK. To my mind, this is the best market. This is the one that I would never, ever, ever give up. I love it. And the fact that I'm working around the corner as well. But um, it's just so well supported and people just put it in their diary and they just treat it as part of their, of their monthly events to do, really. People would rather pay and know that they've got something that's been produced locally. So yeah, it's, it's very important and I always support, support everyone, as in I use Ian's wax. Sarah does my lunches for my workshops, so when people come to learn, then, then she provides all the lunches. So it's, it's just a lovely environment to be in. And uh, yeah, and I think people appreciate that. People enjoy this kind of environment because once you can come here and you can talk to the people that actually have enough passion to actually make it. And then that's a good thing, you know, rather than just going to, you know, your local supermarket and most of it comes from abroad and you don't know where it comes from, really, quite frankly. From a personal point of view, probably 85% of our trade is return custom. You know, people come because it's a fantastic product, you know, and they, that's what they want. They want, and it's good every time. You want consistency, and to be honest, you know, people buy into you, not only what you sell, but, you know, so if you're personable and you can, you know, it's all good, it all works. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice market. I mean, we've been doing this one for probably 12, 13 years. So there's, it's, uh, it's got a good kind of following. And it, also there's quite a lot of uh, tourist trade here in Lavenham because a lot of people come for the weekends. Our customer base has changed slightly over the years. I think when we took this on, our customers were maybe slightly older. We see younger people coming to the markets now. We see younger families coming to the markets now. And they're shopping at the markets because I think we've probably done a full circle and people now want to experience meeting the producer, which is something you're never going to get at a supermarket. You know, our markets now, we have over 30 producers who kind of all come together with a kind of abundance of produce. I mean, it's, the markets are rich in that produce. And to know that all of that has come from within that area is quite a special feeling, really. And I think, you know, I'm proud of that, I'm really proud of it. To promote the fantastic offer of food, eateries and local produce in the Stur Valley, three food trails have been developed. 
Food Trail 1 encourages visitors to explore the beautiful Suffolk villages of Lavenham, Long Melford, Clare and Cavendish, where you'll discover award-winning farmers markets, top quality pubs and restaurants and a wonderful selection of independent food shops. Food Trail 2 explores the heart of Constable Country, a landscape that inspired one of Britain's finest artists, also can inspire visitors to explore its food and drink offering with a delicious selection of options. Food Trail 3 follows the River Stur as it tracks down towards Sudbury. An abundance of walking trails crisscross this area of undulating valley and mapped within this are some of the best local farm shops, local producers, pubs and restaurants giving so many reasons for visitors to stay longer and explore further. Full details of these food trails including maps and listings of the featured establishments, producers and traders, can be found online at www.deadandvalesturvalley.org forward slash visiting. We hope that these food trails inspire you to come and explore all of the delicious food the Stur Valley has to offer.